It's been two months since I've been doing front end masters. I am starting to feel it. I'll tell you all about it. So eight weeks have gone by and I've learned a ton, but now I'm starting to kind of, kind of feel a little bit worn down. So I've taken the last three days off of front end masters, spent a lot of time with family, did a Q and A with Mark and Mark is actually the one who started front end masters. Keep a lookout for that video. And so I'm going to go right back into it after I make this video. It's Monday. It's a Monday night. Actually, I've been pretty consistent. So I'm able to give myself a few days off, but from here on out, I'm going to go full throttle. So what have I been learning? Well, I've been tying up these loose ends on the expert and professional track. I have abstract syntax trees left and I got a uh, full stack to go. I'm excited about that and a little bit of computer science. And then I can finally get into Webpack React. I'm dying to get into that because that's, that's really where I want to learn and I want to start using those advanced frameworks I have in the past, but now with this new knowledge, hopefully it's going to be a lot easier to create what I want. Sometimes in some of these advanced courses, I just don't get it. And that's where I have to kind of stop and uh, readjust and think maybe I need to go ahead and do some more studying on my own on this topic, then come back to this course. That's what happened with hardcore functional programming. I got about halfway through the course and realized I am not understanding a thing. It is pretty legit stuff. It is tough stuff to understand. Hopefully I can go ahead and have some spare time to learn more about functional programming and come back to this. So am I going to be able to fit all this information into two weeks? Probably not, but that's okay. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing front end masters, but this crazy pace that I have, it's going to slow down a bit <laughs> because it just, it's just really hard to sustain this, um, for like two to three months. That's like boot camp levels of, uh, programming, going to work, and then coming home and doing it for 30 to 35 more hours. That's 75 hours a week. That's a lot for me. And then doing YouTube on top of that. We're gonna have to see how far I get along here. And after this journey is done, you can look forward to a review. I'm looking forward to doing that. What do you think? Could you do a challenge like this, uh, this long? Are you doing it right now? What questions do you have about the courses? Let me know in the description below and I will see you guys in the next video.